Brainstem consists of midbrain, pons, and medulla. What separates the frontal lobe from the parietal lobe? Central sulcus. Why is the procentral gyrus sometimes called the motor cortex and where is it located? In the frontal lobe, it contains neurons that project motor neurons in brain stem and spinal cord and to innervate skeletal muscles. What does the insular cortex do and where is it located? Beneath the frontal and temporal lobes concerned with visceral and autonomic function as well as motivational or emotional states. What does the diencephalon consist of, thalamus and hypothalamus? What is pulsatile flow? Every time the heart beats there is a surge of blood in an artery smoothed out by resistance vessels called arterioles. How is blood flow steady if it is pulsatile? Arteries get smaller and smaller which increases the flow and makes it more consistent. What are the two ways blood enters the brain? The internal carotid artery and the posterior cerebral artery. What happens to the vertebral arteries when they meet the brain? Vertebral arteries join to turn into the basilar artery which then gives rise to the two cerebral arteries. Describe the changes in arteries and veins as blood goes into the brain. The arteries start on the outside of the brain until they get small enough to where they dive 90 into the brain tissue. Veins get bigger and bigger as blood flows from in to outside. What is a stroke and what can it tell us about the brain? It's the hardening of arteries when cholesterol clogs it. Cutting off blood flow to everything behind it can use the loss of brain tissue to determine what a person can and can do now and therefore determine function of the dead part. What is an infarct? Dead tissue in the brain as result of stroke. How does blood leave the brain? The sagittal and transverse sinuses run along the cerebellum and join to from the jugular vein when has an exit out of each hemisphere. What are precapillary sphincters? Things that can choke off blood supply to control the amount of blood flowing from the arterioles to the capillaries. Why do red blood cells have to travel single file down capillaries? Because they are both about the same diameter so two couldn't fit at the same time. What are oligodendrocytes? Glial cells of central nervous system that make up myelin. What is allometry and how does that relate to human brains? It considers scaling of anatomical structures across species across evolution such as body size versus brain size. Human brain is hyperallometric or bigger than expected from the allometry. What is an encephalization quotient? An attempt to measure distances from the straight allometric line so the bigger the quotient the more you differ from the straight line. Humans have the biggest EQ. What is the foraging hypothesis? If we have a more advanced brain, we can find more food over a wider range. What is cognitive buffer? With a little extra buffer, a little bigger brain, we can solve more problems when there is less food around. Study shows birds with bigger brains survive better in nature than smaller brain birds. What are the factors limiting brain size? Energy requirements, connectivity, gestational, and obstetrical dilemma. How much of our metabolism, glucose, and oxygen does the brain take up? 20% of our oxygen, 25% of our glucose, and 20% of our metabolism. What trade-offs do we have that allow us have a bigger brain without having to forage 24 hours a day? Smaller gut cooking increases calories, walking on two feet, cooperative breeding, cognitive buffering. What is the expensive tissue hypothesis? Every increase in brain size must be balanced by a reduction in demands of other expensive organs. What is the maternal energy hypothesis? The baby brain requires 60% of basal metabolism and thus puts heavy load on infant and bother before birth so baby is born because mother can't provide sufficient calories for both of them. What is the social brain hypothesis? Brain size correlates to the number of social individuals you interact with every day. What is a Dunbar number? The number of close individuals in your social connections. What is a skin conductance response? Measure of skin's conductibility during tasks becomes more conducted under stress or in presence of stimuli that is physiologically arousing. 
what are the three divisions of the autonomic nervous system, enteric, sympathetic, and parasympathetic. Difference between parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems? Para conserves energy, rest, and digest. Sympathetic is fight or flight so it expends energy and responsible for stress response. Two parts of peripheral nervous system, autonomic and somatic. What is the somatic nervous system? It's outside the system covered in bone, controls nerves and associate with skeletal muscle voluntary control of body movements. What does the central nervous system consist of? Brain, retina, cranial nerves, and spinal cord. Dorsal is back of spinal cord but top of brain. Ventral is belly of spinal cord bottom of brain. Rostral is face part. Caudal is tail or back part. Axial is sliced horizontally from nose to back of neck. Coronal frontal is Middle of head down to neck. Medial or sagittal is sideways cut down middle. How does embryology relate to human brain? Neural tube forms several brain parts and also plays a part in vascular system tubing. What do inferior and superior colloquially do? Nuclei for audition and spatial localization of sound. They orient us towards stimuli in space. Where do the cranial nerves originate and how many are there? 12 originate in forebrain, midbrain, pons, and medulla. What is cerebral spinal fluid important for? Buoyancy, protection, and removes wastes. The telencephalon consists of cerebral cortex, amygdala, hippocampus, basal ganglia. Which are the two parts of the brain that consist of the most neurons? Cerebellum is 80% and cerebral cortex is 19%. Two parts of the cerebral cortex, allocortex and neocortex. What is the neocortex? Six-layer cortex of gray matter going from surface of cortex to where it hits white matter. All mammals have this. What would it mean if the brain had localized function? There is one distinct part of the brain or modules that are responsible for one function. What would it mean if the brain had distributed function? The whole brain is working together, need all of it to do each function. What is equipotentiality? The idea that every part of the brain can do every job there is equal potential for every part to do a certain function. What is the connectionism brain theory? There are modules that are connected to each other in a hierarchy of processing. What are disconnection syndromes? When the A connection between modules of the brain are severed, a person can continue to do some of the function but not all of it. What is phrenology? Study of people's brain by bumps on the skull, invented by Gall. What is the homunculus? Walter Penfield was first to map out what each part of the brain's function was by using electrical stimulation during neurosurgery. How did the localized brain function theory come to play? Gall thought structure and function were localized and that bumps in the skull would show that someone is better at a certain action because their brain would be bigger. How did the distributed theory come into play? Florin said our understandings are unified, so the organ we understand through must also be unitary. What is the Broca-Geschwein model of brain structure? There are their areas or centers and it's important the way they are connected. If you slice those connections then you create disconnection syndromes. What do astrocytes do? They wrap the capillaries that absorb O2 and glucose in control blood flow. They recycle glutamate from synapse into glutamine which stimulates it and initiates blood flow to the area and then it puts glutamine back in the cell. What is an electrical gradient? The difference in charge across a membrane and ions will move until the charge is equalized. What are the common ions in cells in the brain? Ka2+, Cl, Na+, K+. What is an electrochemical driving force? The resulting number when you subtract the chemical driving force that's pushing an ion into a cell and the electrical driving force that's pushing an ion out of the cell. Which ions are more concentrated outside the cell and which are more concentrated inside? 
K plus is only one more concentrated inside. Why is there so much potassium inside cells? Life evolved in presence of high concentrations of potassium so once these mechanisms that led to life depended on potassium, life created an internal environment that also had a lot of K+. What does the sodium at pig's pump do? It uses ATP to pump sodium outside of the cell and bring potassium back into the cell. It works against the concentration gradient and is where most of the brain's energy goes to. What is the resting potential of a neuronal cell? Minus 70 megavolts. What is an ionotropic channel? Fast working channel where ligands neurotransmitters attach to which opens them and allows ions to pass through. What is a metabotropic channel? Slower working channel where ligands attach and activate G proteins which later on open the channel for ions to pass through. Explain excitatory neurotransmission. Glutamate is released from presynaptic and attaches to postsynaptic which opens NA plus channels depolarizing the cell and creating an excitatory postsynaptic potential. Explain inhibitory neurotransmission. GABA is released from presynaptic and attaches to postsynaptic receptors causing CL channels to open which hyperpolarize the cell creating an inhibitory action potential. Why is the axonolic important in terms of PSPs? Axonolic is where PSPs all come together so if they add up to enough and exceed the threshold, an action potential occurs. What happens when the threshold is reached on the axonolic? Voltage-gated ion channels open which propagates a potential where voltage-gated ion channels depolarize the membrane and then open neighboring voltage-gated channels so travels along the axon. Which ion channels are on dendrites and which are on the axon? Ion channels are on the dendrites while voltage-gated channels are on the axon. What is saltatory conduction? Myelinated axons only allow action potentials to occur on the nodes between myelin, so it is the jumping of action potentials between myelin which allows faster conduction. What is the PDP approach and what does it assume about human processing information? How can the PDP approach and the modularity approach to human processing be related? The modular approach considers the macrostructure and describes the components of functional architecture. The PDP approach considers the microstructure and describes what operations occur within the structures. What is TMS and what are two downsides to it? Magnetic stimulation of the cerebral cortex used to stimulate nerve cells in the brain and treat depression. Downsides include low target accuracy because it affects such a large area and only hits superficial areas of cerebral cortex. What is an ERP? Event-related potential, they reflect the summed electrical activity of neuronal populations specifically responding to a cognitive or sensory event during an EEG. But one must average trials to get rid of background noise. EEG versus MEG. MEG measures the magnetic fields produced by the return currents and EEG measures the voltage fluctuations of the return currents. What is fMRI adaptation? When a stimulus occurs over and over, the brain reacts less and less to it. If this is seen with two different stimuli and the same brain region reacts less, then those two must relate to that specific part of the brain. How does light stimuli get to the occipital lobes? Light hits five layers of the retina. These retinal ganglion axons go out of the retina via the optic nerve, then hit optic tracts, then dorsal lateral geniculate nuclei in thalamus, then optic radiation, then occipital lobes. Ventral versus dorsal stream? Ventral stream of vision goes from visual cortex to inferior temporal lobe and is responsible for high resolution form vision and object recognition. Dorsal stream is from striate cortex to other visual areas into parietal lobe and is responsible for spatial aspects of vision. What is a fovea and why is it important? Part of retina densely populated with cone neurons, which is important in daylight seeing and visual detail. What is the remapping hypothesis as it concerns phantom limbs? Brain can remap nerves neurons to preserve the neuronal function after loss of a limb. Topographical remapping of the somatosensory cortex results in face touching being able to elicit a sensation in the phantom limb. What is the difference between wired and volume transmission? 
Wire transmission is specific communication between synapses and well-defined connecting structure. Volume transmission is diffusion of neurotransmitter into brain extracellular fluid so it diffuses across the whole brain, not just on a specific path. What is the inverse problem in MEG? Electromagnetic fields are additive, so you're recording the sum of all fields weighted by distance from the source but there are infinite ways to get to a sum so it's impossible to exactly know the configuration of sources active parts of the brain that gave rise to composite field. How does PET work? Label something like glucose with a positron and when it encounters an electron it destroys it and emits gamma rays going in opposite directions. The PET machine picks up the gamma rays and can find the source. What is the organization of sensory systems? All start with a receptor which then projects to a secondary neuron which projects to modality specific part of the thalamus which then projects to modality specific primary somatosensory cortex. What are the three sense served by the somatosensory system? Exteroception, proprioception, and interoception. What is exteroception? Sense of external world, contact, pressure, motion, vibration, pain and sense of heat and cold, knowing what outside world is impinging on your body. What is proprioception? Sense of oneself, awareness of our body in space, subconscious systems working on body. What is interoception? Sense of the internal organs, usually not conscious but can become so X, bladder, holding breath. What does M stand for? Anterior motor posterior sensory. Dorsal versus ventral roots. Dorsal and ventral roots mediate the sensory system by turning into spinal nerves. Dorsal comes into the back of the spine and is important in sensory properties and ventral comes in front of the spine and is important in motor properties. What are the sensory receptors associated with exteroception? Mechanoreceptors and nociceptors. What are mechanoreceptors? Sensory receptors associated with exteroception that respond to mechanical stresses like touch pressure, vibration, or movement. What are nociceptors? Sensory receptors associated with exteroception that responds to pain and thermal sensations. What are the proprioception sensory receptors and what do they do? Where do they typically project to? Muscle spindle stretch receptors so they know if muscle is stretched Golgi tendon organs typically project to cerebellum. What are the four skin mechanoreceptors and what is unique about them? Meissner, Merkel, Pacinian, and Ruffini. Two are surface level and two are deeper. One surface is rapidly acting and one is slower acting. Same with deeper ones. What is significant about Pacinian mechanoreceptor? Stretch activated which means they open because of mechanical pressure being put on the nerve itself as transduced by bulbous covering and physically opens. Fine touch proprioception and vibration go from skin receptor to dorsal roots up to medulla where it cross over and then goes to the thalamus then to primary somatosensory area of cerebral cortex. If a muscle tissue is damaged how do nociceptors react? Receptor sends info via dorsal roots then immediately synapses at secondary neuron and crosses over, then goes to the medulla and then thalamus then PSC. Why are our bodies contralaterally organized? Embryos twist around rostral axis so the neural tube does too. What is the inverse problem in vision? 3D world is projected onto a 2D retina. What is the compression problem in vision? Greater range of input presented to retina than can be transmitted to the brain. Fewer axons in optic nerve than there are photoreceptors. What does it mean that visual perception is constructed? Visual system guesses or fills in what seems to be logical but is sometimes tricked. Describe how light is projected onto the retina. Light goes into the eye through the pupil and is projected onto the retina in an inverted image by the lens. The photoreceptors and nerves in the retina transduce light photons into neural signals. Why can't we see out of the blind spot? It's where the axons of ganglion form into the optic nerve and there are no photoreceptors so can't transduce light into neural signals. How is the human retina inverted and why? 
human retina is inverted in the sense that it has nerves at the front of the retina and photoreceptors at the back. This could be an adaptation providing a double blood supply to the highly energetic photoreceptors meaning there's a blood vessel in front and behind of the photoreceptors. What are rods? Type of photoreceptors in the retina that are extremely light sensitive. They can respond to a single photon. They have poor acuity and large receptive field. What are cones and what are the three types? Type of photoreceptors in the retina that require several photons of light to activate. They had small receptive fields so a good acuity. There are S cones which respond to blue light wavelengths, M which responds to green light wavelengths, and L which responds to red wavelengths. Describe retinal organization. Front of the retina is layer of nerves. Back has a double blood supply to the photoreceptors. Then the photoreceptors then connect to the vertical bipolar cells and the horizontal cells in a horizontal organization. What are bipolar cells in the retina? The two types. And where does their output go? The photoreceptors stimulate bipolar cells which then send output to the ganglion cell. There are off cells which are activated in the dark and have glutamate inotropic receptors and on cells activated in light which have glutamate metabotropic receptors. What is significant about ganglion cells in the visual system compared to the photoreceptors, bipolar cells and horizontal cells? Ganglion cells are the only ones that can generate action potentials. Photoreceptors, bipolar, and horizontal transmit info using graded passive potentials. What are on center and off surround ganglion cells? When the center of the receptive field responds strongly to light but not the area surrounding the center, cell only fires when light shines on the center. If it shines over entire field nothing happens, if shines on outside nothing happens. What are off-center on surround ganglion cells? Cell is inhibited when light falls on this center and fires when light shines only on the surround. What are the functions of the center surround organization in the visual system? To emphasize edges and contrast in motion. What is the trichromatic component in vision? An important component to color coding in vision relies on spectral differences between S, M, and L. What are the three major types of ganglion cells and what are their pathways? Describe the DLG in structure. Retinoscopically layered, layers 1 to 2 are M pathway, layers 4 to 6 are P pathway, and K exists between them. What is significant about layer 4 of the visual cortex? Reflects the same submodality organization as the LGN, so the P and M pathways are maintained in layers. This segregation of eyes to alternating layers is also apparent and can be seen when stained. Describe the pathway that the optic nerves take with the respective visual fields. If there is a stimulus from the left visual field, then the right temporal part of the right eye goes directly to the right hemisphere V1 and the nasal part of the left eye crosses the optic chasm to get to the same spot as the other nerve, vice versa. What are homonymous hemianopsias? Injuries to one part of the visual cortex resulting in blindness in the contralateral side. What is a scotoma and what does the visual system do with them? Natural blind spot as a result of hemianopsia or other visual field disturbances. The visual system fills in the blind spot with textures but can also cause visual hallucinations. What is the Charles Bonnet syndrome? Visual hallucinations resulting from visual system attempting to fill in scotoma. What is Anton syndrome? When people with total or partial blindness think they still have vision and can fabulate when challenged. What are the three different types of cells in the visual cortex and how are they different? Simple cells have off-surround cells and are sensitive to edges. Complex cells do not have off-surround cells and are sensitive to motion. Hypercomplex cells don't have off-surround cells and are sensitive to line length all orientation selective. What does it mean that V1 is organized retinotopically? Each hypercolumn in V1 has color, orientation, luminance, and motion information from a point in space. What is the origin of the dorsal wear pathway in vision? 
projections from the M pathway in V1 then project to thick stripes in V2 then to area MD. What is the origin of the ventral wet pathway? Projections of color and form to thin and pale stripes respectively of V2 which then project to V4. What is V4's function in vision, form vision and color vision? What is blind sight? When someone has visual function without awareness of seeing, following V1 damage. What does retinotopic mean? It is a 2D mapping of visual input from the retina to neurons, particularly those neurons within the visual stream. What is the V1 hypercolumn? A matrix of ocular dominance columns by orientation columns. A hypercolumn is a 1 mm block of V1 containing both the ocular dominance and orientation columns for a particular region in visual space. What are ocular dominance columns? Horizontal columns representing the alternation of segregation of the different eyes which are important in depth perception. There are in the hypercolumn of V1. What are orientation columns? Columns of neurons which are excited by stimuli of different angles. Each adjacent column is stimulated by a slightly different angle. Describe the organization layers of V1. What is the color opponency model and what is its importance to vision? What is a graded potential? What is lateral inhibition? What is scotopic vision? Rods respond to the weakest 3 to 4 log units of light to see in dim light conditions. What is photopic vision? Combs respond to the highest 4 to 5 log units of light well lit conditions. What is the light intensity range of photoreceptors and what does this require by the retina? Photoreceptors respond to light intensity over a range of 11 log units which requires processing within the retina to convert intensity signals to contrast signals. What is a single dissociation? When damage to area X impairs function A but not function B, it is a weak interpretation that function A and B are dissociated because it could be because A is harder than B or B is easier than A. What is double dissociation? When damage to X makes one unable to do function A but doesn't affect B and damage to Y makes function B unable and can do function A therefore functions A and B are dissociated. What is wrong with correlative methods in imaging and how can we fix them? When looking at functional dissociations if one part of brain is activated during one task it is unknown whether that activation is actually necessary for the task. To fix this evidence from converging modalities are needed to make strong causal inferences. What is apperceptive agnosia and what are the symptoms? A disorder where visual form is disrupted or a person can't recognize visual objects unless they touch or smell them. Perception is easily disrupted by differing orientation of an object or gaps in stray lines. What is dorsal simultanagnosia and what are the symptoms? When tested with individual objects they can easily identify them but when the two objects are side by side they can only focus on one at a time so they report one object and the other fades from vision. Exploded drawings and can't localize objects in space. What is associative agnosia and what are the symptoms? A perceptual categorization deficit or a disconnection between perception and meaning. Need auditory or sensory cues to identify objects. What is category-specific agnosia? People can distinguish between non-living but not between living things so they can pick keys out of a picture of tools but not a dog out of a picture of animals. Other people can do living but not non-living distinguishing. What is prosopagnosia and what are the symptoms? Deficits in facial recognition and processing. Perception of a face can be interrupted by stimulation of the ventral pathway. What is guilty knowledge in blind sight? When a person's skin conductance response is heightened when they see a familiar face even though they don't recognize it. What is the Capgris delusion? When an individual believes faces they recognize are actually imposters because they don't get the same emotional response as they normally would with someone they know. What is a Frigoli delusion? An individual feels a strong sense of familiarity to all faces, even strangers. 
How are the fusiform gyrus and facial processing related? How do we know? Fusiform gyrus contains focal potentials associated with face processing that when stimulated causes transient prosopagnosia. PET and fMRI have revealed focal areas of the gyrus that are activated by facial processing. What is topographic agnosia? People who are unable to recognize familiar places so they use street signs to navigate. What is synesthesia and what are the symptoms? When letters and numbers are different colors to an individual, 